Oh, and Better Food Today, it's all about quick and easy. Adam Bannon is one half of Steph and Adam, the dynamic duo behind the cookbook, Healthy Meal Prep, time-saving plans to prep and portion your weekly meals. And Steph is home with the bubby. She's home with the bubby, that's right. Let's, little, little the bubby's Sophie. named Sophie. Sophie. Let's take right. a look at the... Oh, look at baby look Sophie. At that Sophie. Yeah, that she's so cute. cute. Congratulations. She's Thank three you. Three months You're old. Welcome. Thank you. And you also post great videos, uh, The Fit Couple Cooks, on your YouTube channel. And I, it, what's really nice is people are trying to get into either Make Ahead Mondays or Sunday. I mean, people are so busy, they don't have time to spend an hour cooking every day. But That's right. But a few short things, we can line ourselves up for the week, and we can save money, save calories, and eat better. And Absolutely. Yeah, so we're all about meal prep. So today we're going to make for you... Uh, Mexican style quinoa bowl, which is great for meal prep, make ahead. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with doing uh, onions and peppers in the pan. Okay. And but the the uh, key ingredient of today's quinoa bowl is of course the quinoa, which is great to make ahead. So it's like a rice alternative. Uh, it's packed full of protein and it's it's a grain and a good carbohydrate. Um, and it's great to be eaten hot or cold. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you uh, like you like you guys eating it. Quinoa. Yeah. You know, I learned a good make ahead tip about quinoa or rice, either one. Yes. But they said as you're unloading your groceries, get the water boiling and cook yes. a, b a bunch of quinoa or rice. Because by the time you've unloaded the groceries, you have a pot full for the week. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you're already in the kitchen. Right. So put the water on, boil, let, just let it cook while you're putting groceries away. Yes. And the, so it's little things like that. It doesn't have to be extra time, just thinking about things differently. Absolutely. And same with the same uh, mind behind that, you can prepare your vegetables as well. So all I like to do is I come home, put the quinoa on, also cut up some vegetables. So when it comes to the night time to cook, you already have some things prepared to cook in advance. And then what you can do is you can also set things aside. So here we have uh, what this would look like if you were going to prepare in advance for maybe a lunch take to work ideal. You can eat it cold and um, it's already kind of sorted out like that and separated. Yeah. So that would be lunch, you would just eat that yeah, cold? Yeah, something you could do for lunch. So for dinner you can have it nice and hot. You could, uh, you can, we're going to make a nice big bowl for you guys for, um, for lunch or for dinner, but if you're going to work, you can um, prepare it, put it aside, and store these in the fridge. These are gonna last four to five days in the fridge, just as they are, and they're great to be eaten cold. Quinoa is great to be eaten cold, and yeah, it should be good to go. So here we have the onions and peppers in the pan, really good to fry up, and um, a lot of these ingredients like just throw in. So we have the beans, and we have some corn. So that these, just, it's fine to use canned beans yeah, or even frozen beans. corn? Just canned beans, yeah. So canned beans, you rinse and drain them, uh, you can throw them in, and then the corn goes in, and this is basically done. This is it. You're just going to saute off the peppers and the onion. What about to make it taste good? What do you add? How do you see it? We're going to have a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cumin to go in there, some salt and pepper. <laughs> I love it. What does he need to make it taste good? Well, you know what I mean? Like, he's a chef. Like, <laughs> how are you going to season it up? A little up? bit of cumin, a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> That's and we it. also have some uh, coriander over there. We can just break the coriander up and chuck, oh, coriander in, in where I come from in Australia, it's called cilantro. Oh, here. you mean cilantro. I was cilantro. like, where's the coriander? Yes. The cilantro. <laughs> I call it coriander still. I saw Kara looking at it. I was like, where's the coriander? So it's coriander the and cilantro stuff. are the and same thing? I also call the peppers capsicum. In Australia, they're called oh. capsicums, yes. If you didn't, you didn't know that, you know that now. And then look at that, that's basically done. And you just toss in your already cooked quinoa. And you can mix this all together. And quinoa is very easy to make. Okay. Absolutely, it's, it's uh, one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. Okay. So basically double the water to the quinoa, and you just bring it to the boil, and then let it simmer once it comes to the boil, and then you're basically done. And now we're gonna mix all this together, and we can uh, top it off with some coriander, and we can serve it up in a bowl. I love the fact that coriander is cilantro. <laughs> I keep, I'm gonna keep saying it like that. I'm, getting, I'm still it. getting keep used going. to calling You wanna get it. some uh, spoons or forks for us, Scott? Sure. Um, well, the thing is, is these bowls are really, uh, it's a trend right now, to just put a bunch of stuff in a bowl. And Absolutely, and we're gonna, a lime wedge as well, Cor oh, you can do the coriander. Or cilantro. the cilantro. <laughs> cilantro. <laughs> a more, less? Doesn't just matter. like that, as much as you like. Okay. Up to you. And we also have some jalapenos if you guys like it spicy. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not no, a fan of the jalapenos. No okay, we'll leave those off for now. Those off. And then you and want then me to. A bit of lime, yeah, lime wedge. Yeah, that's it. Roll it out, get a bit more of the juice out. And then we can squeeze some of that on top and we're good to go. But you can eat a cold. Half a too. lime? You can eat a cold. There you go, a bit of squeeze of that on top. Beautiful. Well, putting oh, a little cilantro and lime on anything Isn't will just make beautiful. it good. You can even job. put a little dab of Greek yogurt on top or Absolutely. something. Oh, that even that sounds delicious. Yeah, you guys can try that if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. I'll take a little. Take a little bite of the coriander. I'm taking the coriander. I never knew that. Mm. Good. Oh, nice, good. healthy, clean, fast. Easy, yeah, inexpensive. Make a whole bunch and you can have it for the week. That's, That's great. Right.
Delicious. Thank you so much. No worries, guys. Thanks, Adam. Mm. Steph and Adam post videos to their YouTube channel all the time, so you can head to the YouTube, head to YouTube, <laughs> you or the like YouTube. <laughs> it's like you, head to the Twitter. <laughs> all right, and search Steph and Adam to see them. You can also follow them on Instagram, their handle Steph and Adam uh, official.